It seems like I'm doing this video once a year now because in the last couple of years they have been increasing the max level and now the max level have been increased to 140 which means another level up guide but this time I'll only be covering the best way to level up to 140. So for the lower levels and for newer players I would recommend checking the last level up guide. It is pretty much I would say still up to date but of course the maximum level have been increased to 140 and there's actually a pretty cool way to level up to 140 and it can also work in lower level I would say around the level that I am right now 113 or maybe even 110 or above this should be the fastest way so I'm gonna show you right now and spoiler alert it is well it's, it's a rainbow bridge dungeon I'm gonna enter it right now and show it to you but first I just want to make it clear that this is not a very beginner friendly way because the dungeon might be a little bit hard if you are doing it with an uncloned Digimon it might be a bit slower like I was doing it with my Greymon side yeah with this guy is uncloned he's not transcendent and I, I was using like a triple S rank uncloned it was a little bit slow so it so for those who don't have seals who, or who are not very advanced without an, a clone Digimon it might be hard so first off I want to actually show you guys a few ways other than the Rainbow Bridge dungeon so you can level up so first off we have not very efficient way but still work and that is Minato City I'm actually gonna be using the boosters yeah the uh, either the 30 minutes or the one hour it does stack with the two hour booster so yeah, as you can see they are giving like 900k over a million in Minato City this can work but it's not the fastest way if you are talking about killing mobs then mobs in the D Reaper would be faster if you can't do this dungeon which you are gonna do in a second these can be good options. Let's actually show you the XP, how many, how much XP compared to Minato City that you can get from these dungeons. Just to put things into perspective, when we go inside of the Rainbow Bridge dungeon, so you will be, literally be blown away by how much XP you can get from this dungeon. Yeah, here I'm just gonna be killing a random mob, and as you can see, it gives pretty much double the XP on Minato City, right? From one million in Minato City to two million in the Shinjuku D Reaper. Of course, everyone should have access to this map above level 110. But if you have access to the East Shinjuku, aka you have the main quests, this is even faster. And as you can see, if we kill this guy, four million, so even double the XP. I just want to say this is not even bad. Like this is actually about. I think 20% less than Mugendramon so if you are doing it again and it is a bit slow then you can actually go here instead because yeah it's 4 million per kill if you are if you are strong enough of course keep in mind this is a clone this is my clone side so if you have a pretty strong Digimon that can one shot this that might actually even be competitive with Mugendramon now I showed Mugendramon in the last video and it pretty much still works until 140 so yeah if you can't do the Rainbow Bridge dungeon or you can't do Mugen because it's too slow or you don't have access to Mugen then East Shinjuku should actually be pretty decent but as I said this is not even the fastest way because currently the fastest way to level to 140 is the Rainbow Bridge Dungeon alright so the Rainbow Bridge Dungeon is basically a daily dungeon or daily you can like enter it as many times as you want as long as you have passes and you can get two passes per day from a daily quest I only have 23 so you won't have infinite passes so if you don't have Passes for Rainbow Bridge Dungeon, I would recommend this, the East Shinjuku or Mugen Dramon. I think East Shinjuku might be faster with a party, but Mugen, I don't see, actually I don't see anyone doing party in East Shinjuku for whatever reason, even though I really think it would be faster than Mugen. If you have four people killing them very, super quickly, it might end up being much faster than Mugen with a party or can be decent solo. But yeah, inside of Rainbow Bridge Dungeon, you'll find a lot of normal mobs and after you kill a couple of mobs, the boss will spawn, but you can pretty much skip the boss. So I'm actually gonna uh, like show you this so you can see the HP. Of course, if you have your Digimon cloned and as I said, 110 or above, so you can actually hit the mobs. And yeah, keep in mind, they also will deal damage if you get swarmed. So try your best to not get swarmed. Now, if you want to see how much XP they can give, as you can see, they literally give six million per kill and that the uh, mobs after this room will give even more so this six million is not even the highest number the mobs here can give so for now what you want to do is to enter and just kill all the mobs now you can do it with a party it will work you will get all the party members will get the xp so if you can do rainbow bridge with a dungeon with a party and as i said you can skip the bosses 
Now, as I said, the tip is to try to not get swarmed. And I'm gonna actually digivolve. Uh, I was using an A rank Digimon and I was able to somewhat easily kill the one. So as long as your Digimon is somewhat decently cloned. So yeah, for now, we're actually gonna be killing all the mobs. And then I'm gonna show you how to skip the boss and go to the next room. And yeah, I almost forgot. It might be much easier to use buffs just to make things easier. I don't think you will need the defense, but yeah, whatever, and attack buff to kill them quicker. Now, some, now, after killing a couple, the boss will spawn, and you can try and kill it. It actually gives a lot of XP. Uh, now, the bosses are... Well, they have a pretty high crit resistance, so I'm probably not gonna crit with 162%. I will land a few crits every now and then, so... Even though their HP is not high, which is like almost 9 million HP because of their high crit resistance. If you're not doing critical damage, then they will be hard to kill. But they are not that hard, as I said, only 9 million uh, HP. So if you are with a party, it should be doable. But I don't think I will be able to do it myself. So we are actually going to be skipping this boss. And I'm almost dying because I did hit the boss a couple of times, which means he will be using skill. Skill, so this is kind of dumb on me. If you're doing this and you are skipping the boss, I would actually recommend to you to not hit the boss like I just did. So yeah, now, in terms of how to skip the boss, you will just have to change to Tamer, and then you will just honestly have to click on here. It's kind of, it's a bit hard, honestly. Uh, yeah, like this. It's, it's really weird. I don't know how that works, but it just works. You just stand there, and you, you click. Sometimes it doesn't work, like from here, it doesn't work as you can see you have to stand in this specific location and click and it works and you just walk into this circle and yeah and now you have successfully skipped the boss next is gonna be rooms of gazimon and then seedramons and seedramons gives even more xp and the gizamon also give even more xp as you can see we're gonna kill one as you can see it gives 9 million i mean it's 9 plus 9 so that's like 18 million xp per kill we're already at 34 percent and there's a lot of these mobs keep in mind the mobs will not respawn because it's a dungeon, so when you finish all the mobs, you just leave the dungeon and enter again. It is the fastest way to level from 110 until 140. And there's actually one boss and one mini boss that we can't kill the mini boss. And I will show you in a second the boss, which we, which I think is Shilmon, we can also skip it. And then there's a Mega Seedramon mini boss, which have a 1 million in HP and gives 40 million XP each. So 40 million plus 40 million, so it's like... 80 million XP or so, which is pretty cool. The bosses give 70 million or ish or 80 million, so so the bosses would give like about 150, 160 million. So if you manage to kill the big bosses like the Gizmon and the Shilmon, they just give a lot of XP. So if you're doing it with a good party, you definitely should be killing the boss. But if you're doing it solo with a not very strong Digimon, you should be skipping the bosses. Now I actually did it to level my Ugunumon to 140 and I actually did kill the bosses I was able to solo all the bosses minus the last one which was, is pretty hard uh, it have 26 million HP so we are pretty much gonna skip that uh, you can do it with a party I did when I did it with a party uh, we did the whole dungeon but when I was doing it solo with Ugunumon I killed everything except the last boss and this is the boss now don't hit it otherwise it will start using skills like last time and it might be a little bit of a problem, he will still be hitting you, he'll deal a bit of damage, so if you are strong enough, you can soak the damage a little bit. Actually, I don't think it does any damage, it's, I think it was just Gazimon using skills, but yeah, if you don't hit the boss, he shouldn't deal any damage. It seems, yeah, that the, only Gazimon using skills doing about 3, 2,000, 1,000 damage, so... And yeah, now we move on to Seedramons, and these are the bread and butter of this dungeon because they gave the most amount of XP and they are data, so I will have, never mind, I was gonna say I'll have attribute advantage, I have 0% attribute, so that's nice. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, we are literally gonna be level, I can't miss a use F3 at 4%, but yeah, we are literally gonna be level 114, and now it spawned the Mega Seedramon mini boss. And this mini boss, I think, have about 1 million HP, so it should definitely be doable. And he gives a lot of XP, so we're just gonna take our chance, and we are gonna be uh, killing it. He still uses skill, and he can be quite dangerous if you don't pay attention to your HP. And yeah, as you can see, 40 million plus 39, so yeah, that's basically the freest 80 million of your life. So yeah, pretty cool. And this is the last Seedrum on here, and then we can skip to the last room which is full of more siege so once again 
to skip this area is just honestly it's, it's a bit weird like it works from here but I literally can't get out it's very weird I just show you you just have to stand like in here and click it doesn't work from other angles like if you go here and try to click it literally doesn't work you have to stand specifically here and you click and it works it's kind of weird and sometimes your Digimon gets stuck which is honestly very funny and but the Digimon will teleport with you so don't really care and after you kill a couple of siege demons, the last boss will spawn all the way at the end so yeah you can but just skip the bosses kill the mobs and as you can see we get a lot of xp so let's actually do this dungeon and then i'm actually gonna fail the dungeon just to show you how much xp we got and yeah i don't think i forgot to mention it seems that the seed romans in the last room give even more xp because it's now up to 13 million to compare them with the beta mons when we just enter the dungeon this is basically more than double which yeah it's honestly pretty cool so now the last boss will spawn in here and you really don't have to kill it you can just leave after killing all the mobs yeah there it is a mega siege Ramon boss 26 million hp crazy crit rate requirement so we are just not gonna do it it's like the reward is not even that crazy but and we are at 116 when we entered i think we were at 113 now we are 116 in about few minutes um, like 16 minutes we are at 116 obviously keep in mind i was using zeke greymon which has an ss rank of course if i entered with my triple s shoutmon dx it would definitely would have been faster if you are using a stronger digimon it will definitely be faster and yeah, now three minutes I'm actually gonna wait here just to show you the amount of XP we got. A few minutes later. Alright, this is lovely. The timer is stuck at 6 seconds. This is pretty cool. I really needed to fail to so it shows you the XP. I just, just yeah, I guess the timer is broken. One eternity later. Well, that's kinda Hey, I guess you have more than 20 minutes. It means, you know. Okay, there it is. And now. Yeah, we got 700 million XP in 15 minutes. This dungeon will definitely scale better the stronger you are. Keep in mind it uses limited passes, so make sure you take the passes every single day. And yeah, 700 million XP in 15 minutes. Pretty cool stuff. Now, of course, as I said, it's not a very beginner friendly way. If you can't have access to it, Minato still work, Mugendramon still work, and of course Shinjuku East, the Deer Reaper map. I'm sure it's definitely faster than Mugen Dramon with a party. But yeah, these are the ways to level 140. And yeah, with that, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And I'm also working on a D-Arc Digivice guide. So subscribe for that coming out next week. And yeah, with that, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe for more demo content. I'll see you guys in the next video.